Safety. At the nation's top power producer, it's not just a concept, or a random word mentioned in passing, or a mere check in the box. It's a way of life. And it requires a special commitment and passion from each member of the Palo Verde team, who aren't afraid to work across organizational boundaries, and who are committed to looking out for one another, who work injury and error free, and who define safety as nuclear, industrial, radiological, and safety culture. It's a special breed of nuclear professional whose mission is to safely and efficiently generate electricity for the long term. When you think of the word safety, almost everybody thinks about industrial safety. Yet in the nuclear industry, and especially at Palo Verde, when we say the word safety, we want you to think about, we want you to talk about, we want you to live the four safeties that we talk about. In fact, if you look at our mission statement, safely and officially generate electricity for the long term. Take a look at that word safely. It's identified with red, it's underlined, it's capitalized. This is not an option. This is an absolute way of life, doing the four safeties and living them every single minute. As a licensed operator here at Palo Verde, nuclear safety is my number one focus. You could say it's my core business. I use the operating license and our approved procedures to help keep the plant and the public safe. We in training realize we have an important role to play in the safe operation of the unit. Every time a control room operator operates control element assembly, starts an emergency diesel generator, operates a safety related pump or valve, there's a potential to impact nuclear safety. We in training realize this and we try to inject realism, this reality, into uh, every scenario that's performed in the simulator. Industrial safety is an important part of every business. At Palo Verde, our primary concern is one of our most important assets, and that's our people. Working safe is not automatic, uh, it's not easy. It's also something that we have to make a conscious decision to do every day. I believe safety is very important here in Palo Verde. It, it keeps people safe and we all get to go home to our families. Radiological safety is paramount at Palo Verde. We have the responsibility to operate these plants safely to protect our public and in turn protect our employees. It feels great to be the industry leader, but that doesn't mean we can rest. We have to keep radiological safety at the forefront of everything we do. With every job we perform, day in and day out, we'll ensure we not only continue to lead the industry, but we keep our workers and our neighbors safe. At Palo Verde, safety culture is very important to the way employees feel about raising issues and concerns and identifying problems that happen at the station. It's um, an umbrella for in, uh, nuclear safety, industrial safety, and radiological safety. And all of that ties together in um, our safety conscious work environment, which is our willingness to raise issues and concerns. If you use the tools at work, it becomes ingrained over time and you use them every day everywhere you go. I do personally when I go home. I wear gloves and safety glasses and, and I look twice what I'm doing and how it's going to affect when I climb a ladder, when I whatever I do job-wise at home. I'm always take that second to do a two-minute assessment. Is this going to be safe? What's my outcome? Are my desired results going to be achieved? Um, so I take it home personally every day. I think it definitely has spilled onto my home life and me caring enough about, you know, about my family to take that stuff home and, and show them how to do it the right way. Everything is tied into each other. Everything is important. Everything is there to protect us, to, to look at the culture that we have for safety. I mean, you can't really pull them apart. They're very integral to each other. It's a way of life. It's an absolute commitment if you're in a nuclear industry to pursue all four of those safeties every day. And we have to help each other because anybody can slip. So you need to be helping. It's just a way of life. It's a commitment that we must have to operate nuclear power for the long term.